Hey guys, Trevor Crane here again, and I'm in a cab on the way to the airport. Uh, I'm leaving Toronto right now, <clears throat> and I wanted to share this quick video with you about how to monetize your book so that you can add an extra six to seven figures to what you're doing. And I figured this was really cool because it was a great time for me to just sit down with you and connect. Now, if you haven't done this yet on video one or video two, you should go back. On video one, um, I actually shared with you like why you need to write a book right now, how do you write a great book really, really fast, um, the, how I was struggling playing small and not getting my book done for a long time and how I don't want you to do that. I want you to figure out how to get it done really quick and I think you're gonna love that video if you haven't already seen it. On video two, I talk with you about the seven different phases of, or stages of your epic book launch, about how you can actually market your book. So make sure you go back and check out those two videos if you haven't done so already. And I look forward to seeing everybody on the webinar that's coming up. But now let's get into all of the ways that you can actually make money with your book. Now, uh, the average book will only sell a few copies. I mean, you might you might like it, and um, you know the average book out there might only sell. Now, the average person won't make a ton of money from their book. In fact, I know of two cases where there are, someone has a number one New York Times best-selling book, and they've got that best-selling book. And then they've got the next best, best thing at the time. It was, oh, if I could just be on the Oprah Winfrey show, then I will have made it. And they're struggling to get by because they didn't have the business behind their book. In fact, they talked to a friend of mine and uh, one of my mentors when it comes to books, and he shared with them what they have to have in place. And I'm going to give that to you now. So make sure, if you haven't done so already, to download the PDF. It gives you 12 different ways that you can monetize your book. But I want to talk about some of the math with your book and pick some of the things I think are the best. Not the best, but what because you can pick any of them and they're awesome. The ones that I specifically have made a bunch of money with. So let's look at the first one. I think this is um, one that everybody should have and that's an online product or course. So it's kind of a natural progression to give people even more than just your book. So if you can go ahead and give them an online product or course, it's just a natural progression of almost the same content, a little bit deeper. So it can really help someone and you can charge as little as $100 for this. You can charge, a lot of people charge $97 for their product, um, all the way up to 30,000 or whatever. There, there's a lot of different price points, but let's use an average price point of a, of a course, let's call it $1,000. Now, if you have a $1,000 course and you get 25 people a month to buy that online course, and let's imagine how many people you're gonna be getting to get to look at your course in the first place because they're gonna be getting your book with all those marketing strategies I shared with you. But 25 people a month times $1,000 is $25,000. Multiply that by 12 months and you've got $300,000. That's an extra money that you can earn if you can just get 25 people a month to buy your program. Now you can enter the numbers that are appropriate for you for your product and service. Maybe you charge a lot more, maybe you charge a lot less, and if you're thinking, well, I don't have a product right now, that's okay. That's that's part of what I'll help you with and help you strategize about how to get that out and get it done really, really fast. So, I think it's a great example. That's an extra thirty, three hundred thousand dollars a year that you can make from monetizing the back end of your book and helping people even more. Now, one of the first ones that I actually started with when I was monetizing my book with coaching and consulting, and it's something I've done for years. I work with people one on one or in groups, and I help them get ahead and make more money in their business is what I've been doing. I'm a revenue guy and that's what I like to drive with them. But you can charge you know, anywhere from $1,000 a month for coaching and consulting all the way up to $10,000 a month or even more. So I know people that do that. And um, you know, let's just pick again an average number that like seems you know, reasonable for coaching. Let's just call it $2,500 a month. So let's say you charge $2,500 a month for coaching and consulting and you can deliver it again, one-on-one -on -one or in groups. And then let's say that you do, um, how, many, how many people do you actually need in a year? Let's say you only got 10 coaching clients that pay you $2,500 a month. Well, 10 
times $2,500 is $25,000, and that's $25,000 a month. Again, we're at a $300,000 income if you can have some personal help, if you can help people, you either, you either coach them or consult them how to do it, or you can do a done-for-you service. Maybe there's something you do that you can do for them, and again, I'm trying to give you different strategies about how you can make an extra six to seven figures. So another one that's a really good one would be a membership site. And uh, for example, I have a membership site with a partner of mine and we're teaching people business skills. We teach a webinar every week and it's called the Boss Business Blueprint. And for those of you who join my bestseller big business program, I'm gonna share with you some of those details and insights, but we charge $500 a month is the cost of that membership. It's a monthly membership fee that people pay. You can charge as little as $47. I think we, you know, that's another uh, strategy as far as price. Um, you can charge um, $100 a month. It doesn't matter, but let's do some of the money math here. Let's say you only charge $50 a month. Let's make it a round number to make it easy. And at only $50 a month, maybe you give a free trial away for two weeks or something for a while. But let's just say that you have 500 people that you eventually get in your course and they're now paying you $50 a month, month after month. Well, again, what is that? That's basically $25,000 a month from a membership course. And as I just described ours, we're doing a webinar every week. So it depends on what your membership program would be, but it's one for you to get creative about and figure out how to make it happen. So, so far, if you add those up, that's $750,000, but let's do one more. Uh, you don't have to do them all. You just pick one and you can change the numbers that are appropriate for you. Maybe you charge less, maybe you charge more, I don't know. So. What's another one that I absolutely love and I think offers massive value to your clients? And that would be to start a mastermind. And you can charge, you know, I'm part of two masterminds right now, and some of those masterminds, you know, you can join a free mastermind, which is great. I, I, I find that if you pay for a mastermind, you're gonna get more value out of it, and it's gonna kind of give you better quality of people that are in a mastermind. And a mastermind, is, if you don't know what that is, is a group of people that are all like-minded with a common goal, and there's generally a group of mentors, a mentor or group of mentors that lead the group. And you'll do things like private events, you can do things like a, we lead on my mastermind, we do a mastermind retreat, we take all of our clients to go someplace and do something really cool. So there's great stuff with the mastermind. You can often get individual personalized access with, with uh, help from, from some of the leaders in the mastermind. But let's look at pricing. Um, you can price that anywhere from 10 grand to 100 grand to join your mastermind. I know people that do both. I'm part of two masterminds right now. Let's just pick an average price. Let's say that it's uh, $25,000. So for $25,000, let's say that you just got 10 people in your mastermind. Now this is obviously not everyone. Uh, not everyone is gonna be want to invest that much with you and it's not appropriate for them to. But for certain people, that's just gonna be a perfect natural match for you to do your best stuff with them. And if you're gonna do that, it comes with a little bit higher fee. But look at that, if you have 10 people take you up on it, you make another quarter million dollars. 10 times 25,000 is basically $250,000. So we've got, let uh, me see, we've got 300,000, 300,000, 300,000. That's a total of $1.15 million. 1.1, yeah, $1.1 million if you were to actually implement all of those. And so you don't have to implement all of them, you just need to choose, but this is an example of what you wanna set up strategically before you even write your book. What is it gonna lead them to? These are the things you wanna consider because you have to figure out how you wanna spend your time and what's gonna be the most valuable thing for your client. So I hope you got some value out of this. Um, I can't wait to see you on the webinar. I'm gonna cover even more greatness about how you can write a really great book really fast. Go from blank page to bestseller and I'm gonna invite you to join my bestseller big business program where I'm gonna partner with you for the next 90 days to help you get your book out and done and amazing and get some of this authority, credibility, respect, uh, not respect, who cares about that, um, but, but trust that you get to build with your potential clients enough so that you create a desire in them to want to buy from you. So make sure you download the uh, PDF. I can't wait to see you on the webinar and I'll talk to you soon.